Well, here I am once again out there making it another great day. It's a beautiful day today. And I thought I would come down to Safety Harbor, walk around, check it out. Maybe do a little silliness. Who knows? Uh, I'm looking for an art park. It's supposed to be an art park down here. But I'm going to show you some of the other things that are down here in Safety Harbor. This is kind of like the little small town of Dunedin with little restaurants and shops and uh, some antique stores, art stores, and a, a little small town feel. Uh, I think they're getting ready for some kind of running or something going on, possibly. And I did see a um, farmer's market going on. I don't know if I'll get to that or not. Uh, a lot of activity going on here on a, on a Sunday morning here in Safety Harbor. And that's coming at you right now. Here's one of the very beautiful parks here in Safety Harbor. And this tree I found very unique and interesting. It is going in all different directions and some of the trees down here in Florida are very unique to check out. Here's a sign that says no outlet. I wonder if that's a electrical outlet. I wouldn't know so uh, talking about things that I don't know about does make me sound silly doesn't it? Right here from my observation it does look like a vacant lot. Possibly going to be a parking lot or could it be a building but once again, I'm not sure what's going here because I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, it does look like maybe Clark Griswold is here. I don't think Wally World is anywhere near, but they are parked here. Maybe it's because it might be full and they might be needing to use these uh, facilities here. And uh, yeah, I do know what that is. Well, from looking at these, they too look like cone heads, doesn't they? I think there's going to be some party hats for sure. but. Uh, just to get on track on what I'm talking about and what we're looking at here, I think these are safety construction cones. Anybody, anybody agree? Well, this must be the big art park that they're talking about. Uh, there's only like three benches here, and this is the most colorful one I have seen. It's got all kinds of things on it. Um, not much of a thing to come and look at, but a nice little place probably to relax and enjoy a nice breezy day. Here's another one of these benches and uh, um, down here it says hope is a dream for a better tomorrow. My friend Hope would like that. And right here is one more bench and uh, this must be all of the art park or maybe there was more at one time I'm not sure. It's kind of excited they have it on the map that it's an art park there's three benches, so I'm a little disappointed. I'm right down here in the center of Safety Harbor, and one of the nicest resorts and spas is located right here in Safety Harbor. It's the Safety Harbor Resort and Spa, and it is a very large one. One of my friends just came here, and he absolutely loved this spa. I have a little artwork here on the walls here on the building. Uh, see, I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's uh, not walls, it's uh, the side of a building and uh, looks like possibly lemons, uh, but I'm not sure. They do look yellow to me, but uh, again, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Right here is on the outside of a place called Barfly Saltwater Grill. It's called Barfly Saltwater Grill. It looks like a probably a happening place to check out. Look at these chairs, very colorful. Uh, kind of a beachy type feel and uh, I guess those are heaters or they could be uh, what do you call it lighthouses and I don't think they're lighthouses see once again I'm talking about things that I'm not too sure about does that sound silly or not and Safety Harbor is still building down here they're building some apartments here it does look like Harbor Place at Safety Harbor and uh, Concrete is going up, and uh, that's something I don't know nothing about is construction. Here on the side of this building, it's like some guys from ships and things. Uh, 
spirit water or something like that once again don't know exactly what I'm talking about uh, spirit to watch or whatever that is so that's the Chamber of Commerce building over here across the street is an art gallery and uh, people here in Safety Harbor they drive the golf carts too just like up in the villages Safety Harbor is a very beautiful little town and over here is a place called the Sandwich on Main I've been wanting to try to eat there it's a nice little eclectic little restaurant serving the boar's head brand I always see people sitting out here eating a nice little place to come and get a sandwich right here on Main Street kind of eclectic looking with some of the stuff hanging on the wall on the outside of the building not the wall there's a place called Snow Beach that we've been to before uh, quite some time ago and they have some other new unique little shops they got some antique shops down through here that you can browse for antiques a lot of little cool little antiques there's a interesting uh, cookie jar and another thing you'll find here in Safety Harbor is lots of places to go drinking and here's one called Sips Wine Bar Theme Park Brews would probably clean up on this street and I've been wanting to try this barbecue place out over here they're not open yet but you gotta love a barbecue joint that uh, is showing off the whole hog right out here at the entrance. This place is called Brady's Backyard Barbecue. I wonder if the whole Brady Bunch is involved with this. Not sure. And some of the houses in Safety Harbor are unique. This looks like a little farming type house. Uh, looks like it might be for sale over there. I'm no real estate expert either. I don't know anything about that. Well, as you can tell, I... Uh, don't know a whole lot about real estate. Don't know a whole lot about no outlet signs. And definitely don't know much about construction. Uh, don't let me fool with construction because that's something I know nothing about. And it is the weekend and they have a full farmer's market going on down here. Been to several farmer's markets and it's a beautiful day for that. And they got a Coney Express over there for your Coney dog lovers. I might go wandering around and see what I can find down through here. I have discovered this very cool artist here. Her name's Mara, and she has some wonderful artwork here on display. Very reasonable too. So I use the female body as a catalyst for all my work. So, but um, I call it abstract figurism because I don't like to tell the viewer what to see. And uh -huh. people see different things. They might not see the human form, um, but I do use it as the catalyst for all of my work. Um, I try to bring energy and movement um, and hope that my pieces connect with people. I have walked upon a shop called Tupelo on 4th, a boutique gallery and art studio, and they have, they have a dress out here on display on the sidewalk. Pretty interesting. I do believe this is a little restaurant back here. It's called Southern Fresh. I've heard about that. And these are little, kind of like little bungalows here uh, on this street here in Safety Harbor. And here's another little art studio. And they're kind of nestled away, kind of hidden down side streets and stuff sometimes. And what's really cool is the streets down through here are cobblestone the the bricks well this has been fun it's been hot uh, walking around here at Safety Harbor seeing what I can see uh, a lot of people out for the little farmers market some cool artwork and uh, things nice little little place to come and check out kind of small town feel to it like Dunedin did and uh, can't show you everything because street is pretty long and we have a restaurant up here called Paradise Restaurant. It looks pretty good too. Uh, like I said, they have plenty of places to eat and drink, have a good time, check out some cool antique shops, by the way. And they have some, even some old timey type barber shops here uh, on this strip as well. Um, but uh, I had a few people leave some comments um, on a video I did last year at Hulk Hogan's V Shop. Um, said that uh, I mean I don't mind I'm, I, didn't, I don't know much about Hulk Hogan I don't know much about wrestling don't claim to be but I, I want to bring those things to you show you things that are coming and are opening up uh, that you might, they might be some wrestling fan out, fans out there that are interested in this knowing about it even though I don't know too much about wrestling myself 
I want to bring it to you, but this person said, obviously you don't know anything about Hulk Hogan, uh, and he said something about, uh, uh, with me talking about things I knew nothing about, really made me look silly. Well, that's fine. Uh, I like to be a little silly, at least you're watching. And uh, so uh, some of this here today, I haven't known what I was talking about, and Maybe I do look a little silly, but being a little silly, wandering around the park, running, running, running around Safety Harbor, has been a lot of fun. And uh, you gotta go out there and do that from time to time, have a little fun, and uh, be a little silly. And uh, appreciate all you subscribers out there. Keep hitting that subscribe button, and we're gonna keep going and having fun, having these little chats, and uh, just what's on my mind and what's going on and uh, positive vibes ahead. And um, remember to go out there and make it a great day because you deserve it.